Penang is one of the best food cities in Malaysia. You can get to enjoy so much Malaysian street food all in one place. There's so little time to taste all this deliciousness. Here are our recommendations of what you can eat in 24 hours in Penang. We made this itinerary simple to cover the key iconic Penang street foods and have also included some sightseeing activities between the meals. The route is planned so that the destinations are within reasonable walking distances except one journey that takes a 22-minute walk which we recommend taking a grab ride instead. Start your day with one of Penang's favourite local breakfasts of roti baka and roti chanai. We recommend that you come to Hutton Lane for this delicious meal. Roti Baka Hutton Lane is famous for, you guessed it, Roti Baka. Roti Baka means grilled bread and at Hutton Lane, you can order one with a choice of several toppings including egg, cheese, kaya and butter. We recommend Telur Goyang Garlic Cheese, which is egg topped with garlic cheese. They melted the cheese with a torch and the dish tasted really good. Another dish we recommend is Roti Chennai which is an Indian flatbread. We also had it with the same toppings and we both actually preferred it over the roti baka. Try both to see which you prefer. How does coffee sound after this? A 4 minutes walk will take you to Lebu Campbell for some Hainan style coffee. Tosun Cafe is located in an alley between two old buildings at Lebu Campbell. It is known for its rich Hainan style coffee and charcoal toasted bread. There is often a queue, but so far we have not had to wait long. Unless you are still hungry, this stop is for its delicious aromatic Hainan style coffee. Using robusta beans, their coffee is prepared the traditional way. The coffee powder is filtered before mixed with hot water and milk. After breakfast, it is time for some shopping for local Penang snacks. We will take you to three well-known Penang bakeries starting with Ban Hyang, Ban Hyang is a popular pastry shop known for their Tau Sa Pia and Bei Tei Sol. You can find a Ban Hyang outlet just next to To Sun Cafe. They have a wide range of snacks which are perfect for souvenirs and gifts. Ban Hyang also sells tamban biscuits in a variety of flavours. We highly recommend Sambal Tamban. It was so good that we came back another day to purchase more. Ban Hyang also sells some freshly baked items which we could not resist to try. Just a 5 minutes walk from Ban Hyang, you can find an old school biscuit shop. They have been around for more than 60 years. Located at People's Court on Label Sintra, it is currently being helmed by the second generation. Each biscuit here is handmade by Mr Leong from scratch. Be sure to try out their pepper biscuits, which are crunchy and fragrant. If you are there during the mid-autumn festival, do get the mooncakes as they are also very delicious. Ng Kee Cake Shop is in a row of shop houses just in front of Leong Chi Kee. You can spot the rear of their shop when you walk out from Leong Chi Kee and need to take a short 2 minute walk around the block to their shop front. This bakery has been in Penang for more than 120 years and is currently managed by the third generation. We love the pastries here and recommend the coconut tart, salted egg yolk lotus bun and pepper biscuit. There are many varieties of pastries to choose from and we wish that we had more luggage space for them. A 12 minutes walk will take you from Nki Cake Shop to Little India at Lebu Pasa for some sightseeing. Enjoy the sights, smells and sounds of India as you walk through this place. You can go spice hunting or shop for trinkets here. If you are still hungry, you can fill yourself with one of Penang's best samosas. Take a 5-minute walk to Church Street and you will find the Penang Peranakan Mansion. The 
Penang Peranakan Mansion is a museum dedicated to Penang's Peranakan heritage. The museum is housed within a distinctive green-hued mansion. This building once served as the residence and office of a 19th century Chinese tycoon, Cheng Keng Kui. Here you will find thousands of Peranakan artifacts, antiques and collectibles. Due to its unique architecture and interior design, the mansion has been featured in several TV programs like The Little Nonya and The Amazing Race. There is also a souvenir shop on site where you can do a little shopping. If you are new to the channel, I'm Nicole. And I'm Edward. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. From Church Street where Penang Peranakan Mansion is, make a left turn to Beach Road which is the central business district of Penang. Take a stroll along Beach Road and pass the roundabout to reach Fort Cornwallis. Fort Cornwallis is the largest and oldest fort in Malaysia. Upon landing at the Esplanade in Penang on 17 July 1786, the British, led by Captain Francis Light, started construction on the fort. The admission fee to this heritage site is 20 ringgit. As there is not much to see within the paid compounds, we recommend that you view the fort from the promenade along the Esplanade walkway. The Esplanade is on the waterfront side of Fort Cornwallis. Facing the Penang Strait, it is a major venue for celebrations and cultural performances. You can also see people fishing and some taking wedding photos at this historical seafront area. A short walk on Esplanade takes you to the Penang City Hall and Town Hall. Both overlook the historic parade ground, the Padang, within the Esplanade. The City Hall is a local government headquarters that was completed in 1903. The Town Hall is a British-built administrative building completed in 1880 and located adjacent to the City Hall. This building served as the seat of the Penang Island City Council. Now for some lunch. The walk to Penang Road famous laksa is about 22 minutes. So if the walk is too long for you, we recommend that you take a grab ride. Established since 1970, this famous laksa shop serves a very flavorful asam laksa which, in our opinion, is one of the best we have tasted. It has moved a few shops away from its original location at Juhui Cafe, but is still located on Lebu Kengkui. Do not go to the wrong stall as there is a similarly named one in its original location. If you feel that the portion of Penang asam laksa is small, we recommend that you continue your lunch fees with a nasi kanda meal. Take a 5 minutes walk and you will arrive at the oldest nasi kanda restaurant in Penang. Open since 1907, Hamidia has been serving up huge portions of meat, seafood and vegetables doused in a variety of curries. Nasi kanda is a must try in Penang as this is the place where the dish originated. You will have an unforgettable hearty meal here. Time to cool off the taste buds. Walk back to Lebu Kengkui where you had Asam Laksa and you will find this popular dessert pushcart at the end of the street. This stall serves the famous Penang Chendol. Be ready to queue for this yummy bowl of chendol. This is definitely a welcome refreshment after walking around Georgetown in the blazing hot sun. We recommend that you get out of the sun and consume this in the comfort of the kopitiam next to it. After a big lunch, it is time to walk off some of the calories by taking in a walk along Armenian Street. Armenian Street has gained popularity for its rich cultural offerings and street art. It is home to the famous Children on a Bicycle mural, various other forms of street art, museums and shop houses that sell antiques and souvenirs. Armenian Street was originally called Malay Lane and part of a Malay settlement. By 1808, the street was renamed as Armenian Street due to the influx of Armenian traders who resided along the road. Time for a break. Take an 8 minute walk from Armenian Street to Love Lane. Established in 2014, Wheeler's Cafe occupies a two story shop house. 
It has won multiple TripAdvisor awards over the years. They have a nice, relaxed ambience and a good selection of beverages perfect for a cool respite on a hot day. They treat their coffee seriously, but if coffee is not your thing, they also have a good selection of non-coffee beverages that look really interesting. We ordered the Hoji Cha and Lavender Matcha Fredos, which we really enjoyed. It's dinner time and just across the street from Willis Cafe is Trulia Street Night Hawker. This is one of the must-go food streets when you are in Penang. Originally located along Chulia Street, it has since moved a short distance away to Kanavon Street, which runs perpendicular to Chulia Street. The food street starts at the junction of Kanavon and Chulia, where you will find a flourishing street lined with hawkers. The must-try dishes here are wonton noodles, curry mee, and cha kway tiao. As the traffic continues to flow, do be careful as you browse the many stalls for what you want to eat. Dinner will not be complete without another traditional dessert. Take a short one minute walk along the same street to find Tim Choi Sum dessert. This place serves traditional Chinese desserts with wallet friendly price tags. They were a nice sweet end to a full day of eating and sightseeing. We hope you like this one-day itinerary that will kickstart your Penang culinary journey. If you can spare more time in Penang, there are many more food places to explore. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Ring the notification bell below so that you will be notified of our new videos. And watch our other videos here. See you in the next video.